All right, so we're going to debate. Is this divorce worthy or is it his house too? She moved her sister and nephew in. Then the husband did something a little bit sketchy. Sounds like there's some serious drama involved and Davi's got the story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's from Reddit. And when I read it, I was like feeling some way. And then I got to the comment section and I was like, oh, I'm wrong. <laughs> like, how about that? So let's let's all debate. My sister, 20, got out of a terrible relationship and moved in with me and my husband and brought her five-month-old son. She's dealing with a handful of issues from PPD to depression. I asked my husband if he'd be okay with her moving in, and he said absolutely. Not just this, but he was the one who picked her up and brought her home. She stayed for two weeks and helped around the house. My husband started complaining about the baby crying, but a newborn is expected to cry, especially at night. He said it caused him stress, although I suggested he put in earbuds. He suddenly told me to forget it, and so I did. Last week, I had to go out of town to attend a friend's funeral without my husband. He said he wanted to stay with my sister to make sure she was okay. I returned home the next day and didn't find her or her baby at home. My husband said she had contacted a friend in another town, wanted to move in with them, and she had left that morning. He handed me a letter he claimed was from her. This felt so odd, especially after reading the letter. I called her phone many, many times, but turned out my husband found it and said she must have left it behind. I was worried. I had no means of contacting her to make sure she was okay. I contacted relatives, but they knew nothing. Yesterday, I got a call from an unknown number, and it was her. We talked, and she told me that she didn't leave on her own. But my husband kicked her out after telling her that she was no longer welcome. And she needed to take responsibility for her decisions. I was in shock as she explained that she's not with a friend but at a shelter. And she has no money. I waited till he got home and I blew up on him. He admitted that he faked the letter and hit her phone and then argued that it's his house too. Sorry, I lost myself. Oh, wow, I got to skip way ahead. I went to the next page and a whole other paragraph was there. Sorry. <laughs> Um, so it's his house too. She's no longer welcome. She needs to take responsibility, right? He faked the letter and I argued it's also my house and you lied to me about my sister and you caused her to be homeless. He said I was being unfair and wrong to lash out at him for wanting peace in his home. I went upstairs and I refused to argue anymore. I told him I'm going to pick her up tomorrow and he said he'd change the locks while I'm gone and I won't be allowed to bring her home. God, that escalated. Uh Uh-huh. I'm thinking of going to a hotel, but he kept saying that I'm letting my sister affect our lives by prioritizing her. But there's a baby involved. That's my nephew. I can't leave him homeless. I get that it's his house too, but I don't see why he's so against her staying. Um, There is like a little edit update, if you want me to read that as well. Uh, He returned home. We started arguing again. I couldn't take it anymore. I'm going to stay at a hotel for tonight. I'm leaving in an hour or so. He's wanting to talk again now, but I'm incredibly overwhelmed and stressed out. I need some time by myself. I don't care if he's going to change the locks. Um, I'm meeting up with my sister as soon as possible so we can talk more openly about what happened and hopefully try to figure something out. Like, yeah, it's his house, too. But you the way he went about it was just so shady. I mean, she was away at a funeral Mm -hmm. and he kicked her sister out and then faked the whole thing with a fake letter. Bert? Yeah, there are only two times that I really have tension in my relationship, right? One time is when we're not communicating well together or I'm holding on to a bunch of stuff that I haven't talked about. And the second one is when I forget that we are part of a team that we are going through life together, right? This dude clearly has his own agenda. She has her agenda and they're not working together to settle this whole thing because what he's doing is just taking control of the whole situation and blowing it all up. Yeah, I feel like he he definitely could have, obviously he handled it better. I mean, um, it is his house too, but they, they, they both should be able to work with each other with each other's like grievances a little better than that. And I don't feel like he had to go that far to handle it. Yeah, and then the fact that he was, when she brought it up, and he was totally game, and he went and picked her up, and, like, he was on board, and then once you have a five-month-old in the house, mm. and, you know, ba- babies change things, no doubt about it, and I I understand that, 
But then just to do this, just switch and not communicate it and handle it the way you did is, it's just wrong. The comments were kind of split, but for the most part, guys are like, it's his house too. But I'm like, my whole thing is I remember coming home and I didn't have a cat anymore. Like she was just gone. And my dad's like, she's gone. You know, like that animals mm. will just disappear. Dads will just be like, I don't want this animal anymore. And they'll do something with it and you never see it again. That's an animal. Mm -hmm. He tried to do that with a whole person and a baby, like two whole people. <laughs> it's so disrespectful to make those kind of decisions when you're not talking about it together. So there's so many different levels to it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how you change a dude like that who just really wants to control the relationship. Yeah. Um, so my advice is you're kind of screwed. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I don't. Sorry. Yeah, there's no good advice. You're screwed. The Burt Show. Hey, do you like what you just watched? Because you can get more Burt Show for free. We drop new podcasts every weekday. And you can find us anywhere. Spotify, Apple, any place you get podcasts.